if you love the Lord and if you're called according to his purpose. Praise God, you, you've just got abundant promises from God if you'll do what he asks you to do. We're talking here in 828. I, I think it's a, a chapter that we need to read every day because it's a chapter that is, uh, contains a wrap-up, an expelling force of the Ten Commandments. And I personally do not believe that you can disobey God's command in the Ten Commandments and be blessed and be happy. Now someone said to me the other day, I know somebody that's mean as they can be and, and they have anything they want. And I said, well, the Lord said he'd pour the rain out on the good and the bad and he'd give blessings to the good and the bad. But there's a difference in temporary and eternal. And you need to get that in your head. This world is not our home. We're just passing through. And if you was to live for the devil and have a hellacious life for a hundred years and went to hell, would it be worth it? I personally want to take that trip in the good old gospel ship and sail on out of this mess and be with a daddy that loves me with all of his heart. Amen? Amen. All right, let's go on. All these blessings will come upon you if you do what God has commanded you. So many times we look so much at the temporary. The temporary. But that's just for a little while. Your old car may be good today and it may be a piece of junk in Karen's garage next week. You know, your house may look good today and the termites be eating it up and it's ready to fall down. This world is temporary. You may be eaten alive with cancer, not know it. You, you can have all kinds of sorrows that's coming upon you today. So don't, don't boast of living a life of sin and shame and disgrace and say, well, I'm doing as good as you Christians. Because we get to do good forever. And that's a long, long time. Listen to me. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you because you obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. That's why. Because. Why would you have all these blessings? Because. You obeyed the voice of the Lord your God. You're going to be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Blessed with the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your, your herds, and the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock, and your baskets are going to be uh, tremendously full and your kneading bowls are going to be full and abundant and you, you just, you're just in a wonderful relationship. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Coming and going. You're blessed. The Lord will cause you your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way 
and flee before you seven ways. How you like that? The Lord will commend uh, the blessings on you in your storehouses and in all which you set your hand and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is given you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people in himself, just as he swore to you. If, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, now listen to this. Then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the front of your, in the fruit and the fruit of your body and in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground and in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give to you. I just love to read this. You ought to read it every day. You that whine and moan and groan have to go to car loan to pay your bills. <laughs> you know... You ought to read this. And the Lord will open to you his good treasure. The heavens. To give you the rain in your land in your season. To bless all the work of your hand. You shall lead in many nations. And you shall not borrow. You shall lend. Now, I don't know if you're listening to this, but you need to listen to this. You, you don't have to lend, you borrow. Whatever you do is blessed. Wherever you go, God's with you. The enemies can never be powerful enough to overcome you. I told someone a while back, I said, at my age, I don't have hardly any enemies. They've all died. <laughs> you know, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for those showers we plead. That's if you listen to God, if you do His will. You won't be barring, you won't be bumming, you won't be in a disenchanted situation. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. I like to read that one every time. You know, it's the lead dog. That's, that's the only one who gets to change the scenery. And as long as you're not listening to the Lord and obeying the Lord and doing His will, don't expect a different change of scenery. You're the kind of person that's gloom, despair, and agony. You're in depression. You have to take pills to get up. You have to take pills to go to sleep. You pop a pill here and you pop a pill there. And you still aren't happy. 
You go to the doctor every day. Hoping and praying that you'll find the blessings that only God can pour out. Head not to tail. Mm. If. If what? If you put yourself first, if you put yourself first, if you do what you want to do, if you seek first the things of this world, when's God going to do all these things? Do you believe that? You shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day. You shouldn't go to the right or to the left or go after other gods to serve them. And it shall come to pass if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God. To observe carefully all of his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today, that all of these curses will come on you. Now, here is where you need to read both sections. Here's where you read, need to read both sections. A lady come to me this week and she said, I've got a friend that's losing faith. She's had a grandson die. She's got a daughter that's diseased heavily with cancer. She's always been a God-fearing Christian woman and now she's blaming God. Everything in her life seems to be going wrong. Have you ever been there? There could be times when you go through the valleys and the trials and the tests like Job. And she said, I don't, what do I say to this woman? What do I say to this woman? Trust in the Lord with all your might. Lean not on your own understanding. I don't know why did that little baby got run over in Aner the other day by his grandpa? You talk about grief. You talk about pain. You talk about heartache. I, I, don't ask me. Don't, don't ask me why. And I've seen some of the most blessed, righteous people that I've ever seen. I got a letter from Wayne Smith this week, and he's in his 80s. And, and bless his heart, he just, it's one thing after another. And he said, I, don't pray for me to get well. Don't pray for me to live. Pray for me to go on and meet the Lord. Here's a man that faithfully has served God all his life. And yet, look what he's going through. You see, the Satan uses things like this. He gives you those tests. He gives you those trials. We've got a preacher that his wife left him with another woman. An outstanding young man of God, a good little boy. 
preached and worked for the Lord as long as I've known him. And he he went home and his wife had packed up and left him with another woman. Why? I've been through a long time of testing in the last few days myself. Why? Is that because I'm out drinking and or hopping around? Is it because I haven't been trying to serve the Lord? I don't know why that we go through these tests and these trials. But I know it's not because God don't love me. Because he's unproved that love. He gave his only son. Let him abuse him and misuse him in every way in the world. Poured out his life on the old cross. But look at the future that Jesus had in store because he obeyed his Father. That's the thing we don't get in our heads. You see, we want everything to go our way. And we get to where we don't obey the Father. And starting here, these scriptures says, but if you don't listen to the Lord, if you don't do what God tells you to do, then all these curses. You see, God gives the blessings and God can hand out the curses. He's he's, He's the main person. He's the main person. Every gift that we receive is from God. I don't know why that Roy is in this wheelchair. He's the sweetest little fella I know. And Sue back here, blessing to everybody. I don't know why. But I know if they listen to the voice of the Lord and do what God tells them to do, They're going to have an out-of-this-world experience forever. And we need to get that in our heads. We're like a person that wants a doctor degree and don't want to go to school. You know, I don't understand why. That I don't pass my classes. I went once. You know, what do you expect if you're not putting God first? Well, I was a senior in high school. I would probably, if they'd have voted, been devoted on the most likely to fail. And I know one class I didn't like and I got in good friends with the principal. And I painted a big pretty mural on the wall during that class. Didn't go. My senior year. And the senior teacher didn't like me. <laughs> and she came up to me right before graduation and she said, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to see to it you don't pay. Well, I hadn't been there. I could kindly relate to that. 
and uh, I went to see the principal, see, who had become a good friend. I'd painted that mural. And she said, you go back and tell her that you passed. I found out it wasn't what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> yeah. You, it pays to know the right people. And if you don't know Jesus, you got a problem. You see, you, you're trying to go through life holding on to the world. You say, well, uh, you know, I'm going to kiss up to him and kiss up to her because they're the world. But you need to know Jesus. And he said, if you listen to me, if you do what my daddy said, if you live right and do right, you will be blessed in every way. Every way. You just sit back and say, I'm looking for that blessing. Is that a good feeling? Yep. I don't deserve it. I was painting a mural, <laughs> but I'm looking for that blessing. And you'd have thought I was a valedictorian. Because <laughs> I had made friends with the one that counted. She could make me or break me. I sure did like her. And I think of what Jesus and what God has done. Listen to me. It's time you quit doing what you want to do and do what God tells you to do. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you better start listening to the Lord. If you don't do what God says, you're going to be cursed in every way. Mm. Your children will be cursed. Your children will be cursed. You've got a life of heartache. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But if you don't serve Jesus and listen to God's voice, you're going to have troubles out of this world. Now we're going to be talking about this in the next few weeks. And you know, it's kind of like a, a mother says about a wayward child. How many times have you said, I've told him and told him? How many times have you said that? If they could just see what I see. If I could get them to listen to me. We all know what it is. That's like the person that goes out and drinks and, and gets their face beat in and tires their car up and beats up their loved ones. And, you know, they, they, they should know better than that. They should know better than that. And they should know what the results are going to be because they... See it all around them, don't they? And yet they continue to disobey God's will. 
How many times do we have to fail? How much pain do we have to suffer? until we decide I'm going to listen to God. That's what we're going to be dealing with. I want you to start listening to God. I want you to do what God wants you to do. And I promise you your life will become an out-of-this-world experience. But you can't outdo God. You can't outdo God. Can you? And you pay a high price. for low living. If you're here today and you keep thinking, well, I know what I should do, but I'm not going to do it right now. You better check and make sure you can afford that. Better make sure. Because you may be going in debt for something you can't afford. Read Deuteronomy 28. Read Romans 8, 28. And they'll tell you that the only way that's right is to seek first the kingdom of God. If you're not doing that, right now would be a good time to start. Oh, I don't want to see you suffer when you can be so blessed in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's stand.